we were searching remote caves in Kalimantan, Borneo, an area home to some of the world's earliest figurative rock art. We excavated and down to a depth of about a metre beneath the surface of a cave to find a uh, fully articulated and deliberately buried adult human. And this discovery uh, that we've uh, unveiled at Liang Tebo Cave is now the world's earliest evidence for a successful surgical operation. So in, in 2018, we I published a paper where we show that some of the rock art in those caves there is at least 40,000 years old. So, so essentially we set up a project to find out who made that rock art because we had no idea. These distal fragments of their left tibia and fibula were deliberately amputated, implying that the surgeon or surgeons very likely had an advanced grasp of negotiating vessels, veins, skins, tissues and muscles. They very likely had a good indication or, or awareness of the need for disinfection, uh, antibiotic treatments. So there's probably a good case that they had some understanding of the economic and botanical uh, resources to prevent and, and uh, manage at least infection. So there's a huge range of implications that very much change the known human history of medical technology, medical understanding, and in fact, social care. The sediments were dated to all the stratigraphy, but the remains was very challenging to date. So we had to do another technique called electron spin resonance to actually get the age of the fossil. And uh, it turned out to be quite old. Get us to conclude that this remain is around 31,000 years old. <laughs> 